The MOSAT 6s are a very complex, and very exciting spacecraft. We've been working in MOSAT 6 for many years, and it's with the MOSAT engineering knowledge and know how working alongside the manufacturers that we get the most robust and performance spacecraft possible. The launch environment is, is very loud with lots of loud vibrations. It's a very a dynamic environment, so you need to make sure the spacecraft can survive being shaped, rattled and rolled, essentially. But once it's in orbit, it experiences different environmental factors. Once the spacecraft is separated from the launch vehicle, it will then perform a number of deployments, and that's going to take a number of days. The spacecraft will then do something called orbit raising. This will take the spacecraft from where the rocket left it to its final location in geostationary orbit. And that process will take a number of months. And that's because the electric propulsion is very efficient, but the amount of thrust is quite low. Once it's at that final location, we'll test the payload in many different ways to ensure that the capability is working correctly. And only once we've completed that testing do we then say this is an operational satellite that our customers can use. IMASA has a very strong idea about where it wants to go in the future. We have that global L band, we have global KA band, and now we're going to be adding next generation L-band services. We're adding new spacecraft into the GX layer. And now it's about thinking about other layers that we can add to this concept of that network of networks. Uh, I think that will provide the real next generation of services to our customers. It's not going to be one size fits all. It's about finding which network is right for which user. I think that roadmap brought together under orchestra, for me that's what I find very exciting. I think we really will have a next generation type of communication system where it's not just going to be a single satellite or a single frequency band or a single type of orbit. It's going to be about blending things together. A bit like the teams in Imasat, the sum is greater than the parts. I think the sum can be greater than the parts of the individual networks as well.